Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is okay and fighting fit and getting ready for Christmas too. So it's the start of the week and I thought I'd share with you my meals and everything that I'm eating for this week, my evening meals anyway. One day I might do a video on my lunches that I take to work or I eat at home, but it's basically what I've had the night before with any leftovers. So. It's Monday, so the first thing that I've got is a homemade French onion soup. So this is vegetable stock, yellow onions, red onions um, that have been caramelised and a tiny bit of sugar, butter, oil. Mixed in there was a glass of port, a dash of cognac and a glug of white wine. It's got tarragon in there, it's got thyme, it's got all sorts of um, herbs in there because I've no idea what I'm doing with these kind of things. There's all the herbs in there but mint um, and then it went in my slow cooker for about three and a half hours on low. It tastes absolutely beautiful, it's quite sweet. Uh, there's a bit of French mustard in there as well and then I did some homemade croutons which is just a slice of gluten-free bread that I rolled out really thin and then I cut it with some cookie cutters on there is a layer of garlic mayonnaise with some English mustard, a really thin layer of English mustard. And then I've smothered it in mozzarella cheese and there is a bit of Parmesan cheese on there as well. Um, and then that's gone under the grill and then obviously I've just put it in the French onion soup. And then the, at the side I've got some gluten-free cheese straw, which I've never had before. I got these from Morrison's, so I've tasted one and they're really quite nice for gluten-free. So. I'm really pleased about that because I've never ever had a cheese straw so I'm very lucky today. So this is my first meal of the week which is a homemade French onion soup. So tea tonight is a, a Sunday dinner even though it's not a Sunday. So I've got two homemade gluten free Yorkshire puddings which are terrible. They turned out absolutely awful when I did them at the weekend. I've got roast potatoes and I've got roast parsnips. I've got gluten-free stuffing, which is new. It's the Paxo one, and it was on offer at £1.50. It's normally on offer, well, it's normally on sale for £3, and I refuse to pay £3 for stuffing when I can make it myself. Some homemade bread sauce, which I think should have been in the oven a couple more minutes, but it'll still taste nice. Uh, and then I did six chicken thighs. That's obviously just one and a half or something that I have been nibbling it while I was waking, while I was waiting for my Yorkshire puddings to cook and everything. Um, so I did them in like my multi cooker and then took all the skin off um, and then took all the chicken off the bones and everything. Uh, and then there's horseradish sauce in the corner to go with my Yorkshire puddings and my roast potatoes. So yeah, that's it. That's a Sunday tea, although it's not Sunday, but I've got a little bit of time to make a bit of an effort tonight. So it's tea time again and I've done an extremely hot chilli, um, so it's just beef mince, onions, celery, peppers, every colour peppers, loads and loads of big chunks of chilli. Uh, I've put some spinach in there as well because I want to use my spinach up and I've done it over Yorkshire pudding. I don't know whether anybody else does it or maybe it's just me, but I love a really, really hot chilli on a couple of tiddly Yorkshire puddings. So there's just three little Yorkshire puddings there. And then I've done some kind of a salsa, which isn't very good, but it's just um, spring onions, tomato, chilli, lime juice and peach. So it's a little bit different. So an extra hot chilli with some red Leicester cheese grated on top for tea. Tea tonight is a coconut, chilli and butternut squash soup. So it's just made with a can of full fat coconut milk, one full hot scotch bonnet chilli because I like my things really hot and then a good sized sweet potato or half a large sweet potato. Uh, and then I put three spring onions in it, boiled it all up basically Put some lime juice in there, some more habanero chilies. I've got this habanero chili because I absolutely love it. And then put it in my Nutribullet. On the side, I'm going to squeeze some lime juice in there. Um, I like my soups really, really hot and tasty, so I've already squeezed lime juice in there. And there's some more. And then on the side, I've done like gram flour falafels, which were really easy to do. It's just a cup of gram flour salt, pepper, cumin, coriander, just any seasoning that you want in there, some baking soda, whisked it all up with hot water and half a cup of warm lemon juice and then 
put them in some hot olive oil and it kind of made these little scones. I've opened one up because I wanted you to see it was like a scone. So I'm going to dip those inside the hot soup. Um, yeah, really enjoy that. So it's just coconut, chilli and sweet potato soup. So it's tea time again and another little quickie really because it's very, very late and I haven't got time to make anything. It's way too late. Um, so it's just cheesy beans on toast tonight. So it's one slice of white gluten-free bread, um, some low sugar, low salt baked beans and then some grated red Leicester cheese on top. So yeah, cheesy beans for tea tonight. Tea tonight is just a warm pasta salad, so it's warm pasta, tomatoes, onions, cheese, mozzarella, rocket, celery, grated carrot, and drizzled on the top is loads of balsamic, it's got salt, it's got pepper and a bit of garlic salt as well. And you can't really see them, but I've done some halloumi fries, which um, they're the Cypriot halloumi, it's supposed to be the last the best halloumi that you can buy so um yeah just a, a simple warm pasta salad for a freezing cold yorkshire evening tea tonight is absolute junk food but i just don't care tonight i just want something really hot and comfortable and oily and fatty i guess so i've done homemade chips what you can't really see there's just a, a few potato chips and in there is some sweet potato fries as well so a mixture of potato and sweet potato um, I've done some sweet corn with a huge blob of butter on there because I love my butter on my sweet corn. Two soft fried eggs which are absolutely soaked in vinegar. I was just going to have one but I thought no I'm going to have two. And then I've done like a homemade sweet and sour sauce so it's my version of like dirty fries really. So it's just onion, mushrooms, pepper, rice wine vinegar, marmalade, a bit of salt. Uh, a bit of mango chutney, a bit of plum sauce, it's just everything really. Put a bit of spice in there as well, so it's kind of a hot, sweet and sour sauce. So I guess that would be my version of the Dirty Fries for Tea. So having said that, it's the end of the week, so I'm going to end my video. Thank you so much for watching, especially everyone that's watched to the end, because I know my videos are quite long sometimes, but I do get some lovely comments. So thank you so much, and for everybody who's really supported me you know who you are thank you so much so if you're not a supporter if you haven't subscribed subscribed please press the big red button leave me a comment or a thumbs up and i hope you all have a great week